President Trump is spending the holiday weekend at his Mar-a-Lago estate, today unleashing new Twitter attacks on the online retail giant Amazon. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell now with more on that and why Amazon is in the president's crosshairs. Today, during his motorcade ride to the golf course, President Trump delivered his own package of tweets, blasting Amazon with flawed accusations. This post office scam must stop. Amazon must pay real costs. The president's scorn for the online giant runs deep, conflating his anger at Amazon with the Washington Post, both owned by Jeff Bezos but operated separately, along simmering frustration. The Washington Post, which I call a lobbying tool for Amazon, okay? That's a lobbying tool for Amazon. But experts say the president's claim that the post office will lose $1.50 on average for each package it delivers for Amazon cannot be backed up. Postal Service regulators approve contracts with companies like Amazon in advance and require that Postal Service costs are covered. But those agreements are not made public. We don't know if each package makes a dollar, makes two dollars, or loses money. That data is just not available publicly, and I'm not sure where Trump are, is getting his figures. The president's own 2017 financial disclosure form shows he reported gains from owning Amazon stock. But his businessman roots are in a brick and mortar world. We're all builders in this room. Amazon's rapid growth has pummeled shopping malls and traditional retailers. As Amazon gets more and more powerful and as retail struggles, um, having the president point this out and attack the company certainly gives strength to the complaints that other folks have been having for some time. The president has made another claim that has been proven false when he says that states lose out and tradi traditional stores are at a disadvantage because Amazon doesn't collect taxes. Well, in fact, Amazon does collect sales tax in the 45 states that require it. Jose? Kelly O'Donnell, thank you so much. The